So I'm first going to go in with my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer. I'm going to apply that all over my face using my fingers to fill in my pores and so that my foundation applies smoothly. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend all of that into my skin. Then I'm going to take my NYX Lip Balm and I'm going to use that to prime my lips for lipstick and stuff. Then I'm going to take my LA Gold Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm going to apply it on my eyelid to prep and prime my eyelid. I'm not going to be applying any eyeshadow today. Then I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blend. I'm just going to blend all of that in. And then I'm going to take my Translucent Powder LA Girl one. And I'm just going to set that concealer so that my eyelids do not crease and then that stays in place. Then I'm going to take my Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder in the color Rich, Rich Chestnuts. Then I'm going to use a foundation brush and I'm just going to apply a little bit, guys, like a tiny, tiny bit on my face. I'm not really looking for coverage here. I just want an even skin tone here. So I'm going to try to apply as little as possible. Yeah. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to be applying anything onto my um, eyelids because I'm going for like a very natural look. And I was supposed to apply my glow stick way before the foundation, so I'm just going to do that now. This is by Bobbi Brown. It's in the color Sun Tan. First time I'm using it, and I loved it so much, yeah. So I'm just going to apply it by my um, higher, by my cheekbone, sorry, and above my eyebrows, on my nose, on my chin, basically where I want the light, my face to catch the light. And then I'm going to use my finger to blend that in you know yeah just use I think my finger and as you can see my face is a bit glowy like I said we want to glow guys this is about the glow then I'm going to take the foundation I'm going to continue applying it on my forehead and I'm really not move I'm, I'm really like not bothered about the coverage here hence I'm applying so little <laughs> yes yeah, with my brush so yes I'm just gonna try blend all of that in I really want a very, very, very natural look. That's what I'm going for. Then I'm also going to apply it on my, like below my face, so that my neck blends in with my face. And I'm just going to make sure that there are no um, harsh lines there and all of that. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender again. I'm just going to make sure that I blend the foundation in so that I get a skin like finish, a very natural finish. It must look like there's no foundation on there, you know? And then I'm going to take my LA Go um, Pro Concealer in the color Toffee again. And I'm going to apply I'm going to apply that under my eyes. I'm going to apply it on my nose. Um, I'm also going to apply it on my forehead a little bit. And I'm also going to apply it above my lip. And then basically this is where I'm highlighting my face. Yeah. Um, before I contour. So this is, this is how we highlight the face. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all of that out. So guys, make sure when you blend your concealer, especially by your under eyes, that you do not go um, above or like you don't go out of that eye area if that makes sense. Because then it's just going to look very, very ashy because you're going to look like you're wearing concealer all over your face. And it's going to look like you're wearing a very light shade of foundation at the end of the day. So make sure you just stay within that perimeter. Like just stay under your eyes. Don't go further out if that makes sense. Yeah. And you need you need to make sure that guys, I even emphasize in my other video that blending is very important. Because <clears throat> it makes you look ashy if your front, your um concealer is not blended in. You know, it must be blended in. And you must be very patient, you know. Don't be in a hurry. I was in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. But you must be patient to get that perfect finished look, you know. It usually takes, if it's your first time learning, it usually takes about um, six minutes to blend in properly. But yeah, I feel like I've done it so many times that I've mastered it, you know. So yeah, just practice will make it perfect. Just practice then i'm going to go in with my translucent powder again i'm going to use that i'm just going to dust the excess product on the areas that i've um, applied the concealer so that the concealer stays in place it does not crease or because then if it does crease your face will look like you're melting you know so i'm just going to apply it all over where i applied the concealer yeah then i'm going to take that little brush and i'm going to take my la girl um, concealer in the color espresso and basically I'm just going to apply that concealer on the little brush and I'm going to um, contour my nose so I'm just going to apply it on the bridge of my nose guys I can't live without a nose contour and as you can 
like I said, I'm going for a natural look, so I'm going to use a color that is not too dark, you know. Yeah, I just want to get that, you know, because my nose is wide. I just wanted to look a bit smaller. Yeah, but this is a natural look. And guys, with makeup, less is more. Try to apply as less as possible. That's when it looks really good. I'm also going to apply there by the, um, what do you call this? The triangle of my nose, your yeah, part. And then what I'm going to do as well is that I'm just going to blend. And I'm not going to blend it in. So you must try to blend it out. That makes sense. Don't try. Don't um the. Don't go inside. Go out. Yeah. And then you can use a beauty blender as well. But be very very careful. A beauty blender can get busy, especially if you've never used one. Just stick to using a brush. If this is your the first time you're doing this, you know, stick to using a brush first. Then you'll use your beauty blender. Then I'm gonna take my angled brush and I'm gonna take that um compact powder. I'm gonna use that to contour the rest of my face. I'm going to apply it by my cheekbones to create that shadow. You guys know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the contouring. Like I said, I'm going for a very soft look. So I'm not going to cream contour. We're just going to powder contour, yeah. Because that looks more natural. It looks more <clears throat> bronzy, you know. It doesn't look too fake, you know. I'm not trying to get that snatched look here. Then I'm also going to um, apply it by the bottom of my face to make my face appear slimmer, yeah. I'm also going to apply on the other side as well, of course. And make sure that you don't put too much powder on the brush. Just apply as little as possible. You know, don't just like put a crap load of powder and then regret it because then it's so hard to get off. I'm also going to apply on my forehead to make my forehead appear smaller. And also to um, blend that concealer. Because as you can see, that you can see where the concealer stops, you know. So yeah, the, the contour is just going to make it, make those two, the, con the contouring and the highlight blend in sorry about that yeah then i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown uh glow stick the suntan one i'm just gonna reapply it at the same area as i applied it earlier on guys this is about the glow the natural glow so yeah <laughs> hence i'm using so much shimmer and 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 you know yeah so i'm just gonna apply it same areas where i applied it earlier on to make sure that any glue that we lost while we were powdering our face comes back and I'm going to go back with my finger and I'm just going to blend it in, you know, yeah, you have to blend it in, otherwise <laughs> it'll show, as you can see there by the eyebrow, my one was not blending it properly, then I'm going to take, um, what's this, my Estee Lauder bronzer and I'm going to take my blending brush, then I'm going to um, apply that over the glow sticky stick thingy so that it does not crease as well you know and like i said we are trying to glow so we're gonna add more shimmer <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna dust that off where i applied the bobby brown glow the eliminating stick glow stick rather yeah and this is like a beginner friendly look so it shouldn't be hard to achieve it i'm then going to take my fan brush and i'm going to take my hyper real glow by mac highlight it's a highlighter there's three of them then i'm going to use that one it's called get it glowing it's like a bronzy golden you'll see what i mean then i'm going to apply it by my high cheekbones that's where i applied the glow stick as well yeah so we're not going to apply a lot because like i said we want a natural look you know so i'm just going to apply a very really minimal amount like um, and less is more you know i'm also going to apply it on the other side of my face and i'm also going to apply it on my nose so that the light, that our nose catches that light, you know, in pictures and in real life and, you know, yeah, I think you get it. And I'm also going to apply by, um, above my brows there. I did my brows off camera as well. If you want to know how I do them, just go on my channel. You'll see I do have a video of how I achieve my brows. I'm also going to apply the thingy on my upper lip, yeah. Then I'm going to take a small brush, then I'm just going to... Um, apply the same highlight I'm going to apply it by my tear duct and I'm also going to apply it on my brow bone just to catch more light on my face you know like I said less is more make sure you use as little product as you can you know so that you look natural you don't look like a ghost you know then I'm going to take my Estee Lauder blush in the color um, nude rose and I'm just going to um, apply that on the apple of my cheeks here and then it does look pink because I just <laughs> applied so much product. But I'm going to blend it out right now, yeah. As you can see, that's me blending it out so that 
it is not that visible, you know, it's not out there that, yo, Miguel, you look like a clown, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, <clears throat> I'm then going to go in with my Revlon, multi Mega Multiplier Mascara, I'm just going to apply that on my lashes, so that my falsies, I'm going to apply falsies as well, but off camera, so that my falsies do blend in with my real lashes, yeah, I'm also going to apply the mascara by my bottom lash as well, you know, at least so my eyes don't look naked, you know, especially my lower, my lower eyes. And then, yeah, as you can see, I've done, I've put my lashes off camera. I'm going to take, go in with my Bobbi Brown lip gloss in the color Popsicle. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. And the lashes that I'm using is eye, eye low, and they're called Texture, yeah. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. <laughs> and it feels so good on your lips, guys. Then I'm going to take this um, face mist, first time using it as well. And wow, guys, it smells so good. Like, <laughs> I do recommend this product, you know. Yeah, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and most importantly, please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. <laughs>